Hi, so in a previous video, I showed the situation where the user of the SFTP client generates a public key private key pair, sends the public key to the administrator of the SFTP server, and the administrator puts the key in the authorized keys file. So I'm going to go the other way and uh, have the administrator generate the public key private key pair, and now the user has to convert the public key private key pair into a usable format in Win, Win SEP. So I'm going to start by generating the as an administrator generating the public key private key. So I'm going to use the command SSH key gen and I'm going to keep the default location where it's going to generate the key and it's going to prompt me for a passphrase and I'm going to keep leave that empty so now the public key private key pair is generated and it is generated in my default location that I specified when I was prompted here which was SSH ID RSA so here's my public key and as the administrator after generating the public key I am gonna copy the public key into the user account where I want the user to log in so I want the user SFTP user 01 to log in using that specific public key so I'm going to be putting that in the authorized key files now a user can log in via multiple different keys let me use textpad here which shows everything properly in one line so I already have two specific keys, two different keys the user is going to use and I've just added a third one and you'll see all three of these are unique so that's the third key now now that's the public key here in this authorized key file normally the user generates this public key private key pair because he likely keeps the private key safe but in this situation, there might be a situation where he does not know how to generate it or the administrator prefers to generate it. So in this scenario, you would have to send this private key. So this is actually the private key. And I will be sending this private key to the user. So I'm going to pretend copy this private key. And now I'm going to pretend to be the user and go to the client machine. So the user receives the private key file and I'm gonna put it in my key file folder here and I'm gonna rename it to my key 3 so we could distinguish between the three keys this user is using and I am gonna open up WinSCP now I've downloaded WinSCP from this location I'm gonna have this in the description area for you to the link is going to be in the description area of this folder so I'm going to open up WinSCP after installing it I'm going to go under tools and I'm going to bring up run putty gen and I'm going to click load here to load my private key and it says it successfully imported it and so now uh, what I'm going to do here is save it because it's actually in a different format. I'm going to save this as private key A. Close this out and I'm going to create a new login. And keep in mind I am using SFTP user 0, SFTP user 01 here and I don't need a password because I am using the public key private key exchange click on authentication click on my private key and I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna actually save this as the key 3 login and you'll notice if I log in here it won't prompt me for a password it'll just log me in and that's really it that that's how you would do it now I do want to bring up the situation where 
I already converted the file so keep in mind the file that was sent to me was this mykey03ppk so if I was setting this up and I just did the import it'll actually prompt me to convert it whereas uh, notice it says you can use the putty gen key uh, tool to convert it so in my case I already converted it but you still have to save the private key after you've converted it uh, so I just wanted to mention that and that's really it uh, so I've showed you how to log in basically using uh, three different keys and you could check out my other videos if you wanted to do the other way around that you're using WinSCP to generate the key and you're sending the public key to the administrator of the SFTP. Um, but this would be something you are able to communicate to your SFTP administrator and uh, I hope this helps and thank you for watching.